be facing an offense like this that's going to get the ball out quicker? I mean, yeah, I mean, every every game poses new threats and, and, and new challenges that we see. And they get the ball fast, get on the perimeter quick. So it's just new things we're going to see, and uh, we're excited for the, the challenge. What do you see from this Oregon receiving core and what challenges they present? They're really good. I mean, a really talented receiving core, uh, the best one we've seen so far this year, and uh, we're all excited for the challenge. What do you remember the most about the game? Uh, I remember we lost. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the defensive performance, it seemed like they ran the same play over and over. I mean, yeah, it was very frustrating, but we're a completely different defense than we were three years ago. So, I mean, it's going to, well, yeah, we're different defense. And that's the thing. I mean, that game really started the process. You think it's a team mode? Yeah. Well, how different is the whole feel of the defense now compared to when you're going to play the I mean, we're, we're still confident going to that game. But like you said, uh, um, we're a completely new defense. Um, we're excited for the challenge um, that, that they hold, and uh, we can't wait to play. When you're playing a receiving core where their offensive structure is not necessarily to challenge you down the field, it's more get the ball out quickly and then allow them to get yards after the catch. What's the emphasis during the week in preparing for receiving core when that's how they operate? Yeah, uh, got to win on the perimeter, um, got to make open field tackles, got to communicate, and uh, and yeah, I think just those are the, those are the biggest three things that we got to do. Caleb called you his brother last week. What's allowed that relationship to take such a firm hold with you guys so fast? Yeah, I think just uh, the way he came in so focused and uh, ready to learn the defense, uh, ready to play. And, um, yeah, like he, like he said, that is my brother out there. Uh, I love playing with Caleb. We're, we're always on the same page, always pushing each other, always competing, and uh, always trying to make each other better. You said he's got to get better at that peanut function first. Do you seem to perfect it? Have you been teaching anything about that, some pointers on that? Yeah, I mean, um, me and Caleb, all the DBs, uh, try to be like the last ones off the field every day. Try to get as much work in. And there's all types of techniques and, and stuff that we do extra work, working with each other, trying to push each other to get better. How well did you know him before he actually transferred here? Uh, I really didn't know Caleb. Uh, I met him like one time, but I didn't know him as well um, as people may think. But I mean, now we're with each other every day, uh, constantly talking, trying to make each other better. Probably our, one of my closest friends on the team now. So um, it's great that we added him to the team. Did it take thank you, any time for that to develop, or was it just kind of here? <laughs> kind of from day one, you guys kind of clicked. Yeah, I feel like we clicked day one. Um, we were, we both came. Uh, he came in and uh, we embraced him into the DB room, and uh, he did a great job. You know, uh, coming in and gelling with the, the rest of the DBs, and um, I think that built a great relationship uh, from day one. When you came in here as a freshman, you guys were supposed to go to Oregon that year. So is it nice to like finally get that opportunity now? Yeah, I've uh, never been to Oregon. I've heard nothing but good things about their stadium, about their fan base. Um, I, this is going to be a huge game, so I'm excited to, to see what Oregon's like. Were they like in on you as a recruit at all? When, when, yeah, no, nah, yeah, they definitely recruited me. Um, I never, I never got to take a visit up there, but uh, I had a lot of uh, friends uh, that that went up there, and they said nothing but great things about them. So it's gonna be cool to go back to the West Coast. One of the things that stood out that you watching you and Caleb, I think, is the way you're able to trigger and run support and in the screen game and come down and play on the line of scrimmage. What, what give, what makes you excel in that area? I think that we do a great job, you know, um, in the film room, um, getting keys and, and, and stuff that, you know, stands out on tape and um, having uh, our keys. And right when we see our keys, we're able to trigger fast and just trusting each other, trusting the defense. That everyone's going to do their job so we can just play fast. Cody said he's gone back and watched that Oregon game a few times. Have you revisited it at all? Yeah, I definitely went back and watched the Oregon game. Um, it's a lot different team that they wore back then, uh, a different offense, but it's still good to see. And then, uh, so it's, it's, it's just funny to see how far along we've come from there. So okay. I'm excited. Does it feel like a chance to avenge that? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot different team than it was. But yeah, of course, I mean, we lost them last time. Um, we're excited for opportunity to play them once again um, on the big stage. They want to hit, right, some short passes and have catch and run, just like you guys do offensively. What, for your position, what's the balance of being aggressive on plays like that versus maybe not getting downhill too much and having a guy run by you. I don't know. It just it seems like they can be. Yeah, at the end of the day, the biggest thing is just uh, to communicate and do our job. I think um, that that's what you can do is just make sure everyone does their job because when you do your job, you have um, some answers for that stuff. How good do you think you guys are, the linebackers of safety and, and corners in space, making tackles like that? Like that? <laughs> 
I think I think I think we're good at doing that. I mean, um, that, that's our job to be able to make them tackles in the open, in the open field. How'd you how you feel about last week? It felt like you guys did a great job last week making all those tackles in space on Johnson. Yeah, I think we did a great job last week. But Coach Day does such a good job of last week's over now. Um, we're on to the new big challenge of, of Oregon, so that's what we're excited for this uh, for this new challenge. Lathan, uh, Caleb talked about last week. You guys compete with each other every game, so you can make more plays. <laughs> What is that competition like, and how has Caleb made you better? How have you made him better? Yeah, I think um, the answer to right there is just constantly trying to push each other uh, to either make more plays, uh, to have more production, and it's it's a, it's a uh, it's a friendly battle that you know we embrace every day, and and that's my brother, and we're constantly I'm his biggest fan, he's my biggest fan, but we're constantly trying to push each other and outplay each other. But I mean that's I think that's that's what makes our room so special. You kind of talked about the quick trigger earlier, like your TFL numbers are, are way up right now. Like, do you play off of him in that way with Caleb? Like, is that factoring in at all? I mean, facts, yeah. I think uh, that's what's so special about our deep room is we're always trying to outplay each other. That's that's what's so special. And me and Caleb are each trying to um, outplay each other, and, and I think that's what's so special about me and him, and I can't wait to continue to do it all season. What's, what's, what's the score? Pretty even. Pretty even. <laughs> what's Nathan, uh, the week uh, at, last two questions here. Uh, G and uh, Brandon, uh, uh, Cody has said that you guys kind of have been playing a, or practicing with a little bit more edge this week, and, and Cody even said it kind of even started last week, you know, before the Iowa game. Your thoughts on, on how you guys have been practicing these last two weeks, maybe compared with, you know, the first couple of the sets of the practices throughout the, the season? Yeah, I feel like uh, Coach Day's done such a good job of pushing us all throughout the whole year in practices. But I mean, yeah, I think as the as the games get bigger, as they continue to get bigger, our practices got to get harder. Every every practice got to get harder because um, the odds get bigger every week. And um, being a veteran group, we know that, so we're going to continue to push each other, push our team uh, to go out there and compete and fly around every practice. With well, such a big emphasis on tackling every day, certainly this week. What do you do throughout right. the week to make sure that you guys are sound, you know, tackling wise when you get really tackled? Right. Yeah, I think um, our coaches do a great job of. I mean, we try to treat every practice and uh, every every uh, play out there like it's a game. Even though we can't obviously tackle to the ground, um, getting into that position, you know, fitting up to where you're almost making the tackle without making the tackle, and running to the ball, um, making sure we're fitting everything right, and uh, just flying to the ball and, and treating every play like it's a game.